So we're here at uh, Mount St. Mary's University and Seminary. This is the alma mater of Father Patrick and I. Uh, we did a couple of years of undergraduate studies at, at this university. We finished our bachelor's degree, and then we went on and studied at the seminary for four years. Theology and all that good stuff. You know. So we have a lot of great memories. But, uh, but Father, you've been here uh, on and off for like the past, what, five years or I so? How long? Been, it's actually been seven years seven that years. I've been here. Of course, you and I spent six years finishing yeah. our undergrad pre-theology and uh, theology and seminary. And then uh, I spent two years in Alabama as a priest. Yeah. And I've been here for seven years now. Um, but I've had the great blessing to be able to help with some of the masses, assist with some of the masses, hear confessions of some of the students, and then work with some of them with regard to spiritual direction. It's been a tremendous blessing and a great joy for me to work with them. We have a lot of great memories here. Uh, you know, experience a lot of fun, excitement, a lot of stress. <laughs> sure. Got our science building over here, the library. We spent a lot of time in the library. We spent, spent a lot of time in the library. Doing a lot of research, trying to get those papers done. That's right, that's right. Most of our classes were in this building over here, right next to the library, not uh, academic center. And across is we have uh, Patriot Hall, the cafeteria. We spent a good amount of time there. Yeah, it's a lot of good food. That's right, yeah, they do an yeah. excellent job. They had a bakery, they had a grill, they had a you know, little buffet sometimes. And... Now across the street from, we're right in the, it's very, it's a very unique situation for this university. It's kind of divided by a highway uh, 15. So we've got the main campus on one side yeah. and on the other side is the, um, all the athletic complexes. Right. Yeah, that's uh, they have their basketball court, they've got track, they've got um, yeah. different uh, fields. Um, that's where we'd go work out. And, uh... The knot area, they had a nice gym and everything. That's right. In fact, you remember when we were seminarians, we yeah. did a video like a day in the life of an MFA yeah. seminarian. Yeah, we're going to put that video up. That, was, that video was, was back in 2009. So that was over, yeah, we look a little, years ago. a little younger then, just yeah. a little. So we got the knot auditorium here. Here's, they have this uh, McWayne Center. What's that center where they have the bookstore and all that? And oh, that's right. I forgot the name of it. <laughs> but they do the bookstore. And then over here, What's that? got, uh, kind of that's where they do uh, some of the, fine the music arts. and fine arts. Drama and all that. That's right. Yeah. Over here you get the main administrative building off to the right, the Bradley Center, and then um, these are more of the, uh, the dorms here. Yeah. So Mount St. Mary's was founded by Father John Dubois in 1808, so it's over 200 years old. Yeah. Um, in fact, when we were here, they had the bicentennial. Bicentennial here back in uh, 2008. 2008, there was a, that was a big deal. And yep, they, it was a uh, lot of celebrating. To celebrate that, they have the statue here of Father John Dubois. He was a Sulpician priest, right? That's right, he founded he it. was. And then he went on, after a couple of years, or some years, to become the Bishop of New York, right? I believe, yes, yeah. yes. So the mount is known it's actually the second oldest seminary in the country. Um, one of the things that's known, or it's been titled the Cradle of Bishops. Have there have been many bishops that have come from the seminary here. So this little monument shows actually the names of all the bishops that went through the mount, that came through the seminary. So this is called Echo Field. This is where a lot of uh, seminarians would play sports, intramural sports throughout the year, which was a lot of fun. We both played. We played football, we played football. softball. That's right. But when you had what, like 160 guys or so in the seminary, there's a yeah, a lot of good, uh, a lot of good games, sports games going on. Yeah. Here we are in front of uh, St. John Vianney, the patron saint of priests, not just parish priests. He was Pope Benedict, I think, yeah. uh, made it clear that he's the patron of, of all priests. But here we are in front of uh, Mount St. Mary's Seminary, where we spent four years studying theology. Yep. A lot of good memories, we had a very good experience. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful experience yeah. too, because there's we're studying with men from all over the country, even some from other countries as well. We had some that were yeah. from Sri Lanka, um, yeah. from some from Africa. So it was just it was a really good experience to be here, to spend this time here uh, studying, being formed to be priests of Jesus Christ, and uh, with men from all over the country and all over the world, united yeah. in the same, a similar goal, right? To grow yeah. in holiness, to lead souls to heaven, to lead souls to Christ. Our friars uh, began studying here in 1998, the fall of 98. And one of some of the first to uh, study here were um, Father Anthony and Father, was it Father, Father, Mark. Father Mark 
you know, there was a few others oh, who... Dominic from the game. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, so they, it was 1998, and, and that's, uh, what, a little over 23 years now, huh? That's right, 23 years we've mm -hmm. been here at the Mount. Yeah. Here we have a little replica of the Lourdes Grotto. It was built by blessed Stanley Rother. Uh, Stanley uh, Rother, he attended Mount St. Mary Seminary. I think it was back in the early 60s, 60s yeah, or, or mid 60s. And he wasn't a very good student here. In fact, he was always prone to distraction. And one of the things that distracted him was building. He liked, used to like to build things. And so he built this grotto. You know, anyways, he was able to finish uh, seminary studies. He went on to be ordained a priest. Uh, eventually, he uh, was a missionary in Guatemala, and that's where he was martyred. He gave his life. We're here in front of uh, Immaculate Conception Chapel, the IC Chapel. This is where we spent uh, many masses over the course of our um, seminary years here, uh, both in the IC Chapel, Immaculate Conception Chapel, and in the seminary of St. Bernard's Chapel. Uh, but IC Chapel, as you'll see in a minute, is a very beautiful chapel. And it's been a joy and a privilege for me, too, since I've been up here these last several years, to be able to offer Mass in here, too, for the college students. We're here in the uh, sacristy, the vestry of the Immaculate Conception Chapel. We're getting ready for Mass. It's a, a Misa Cantata, or a sung Mass, in honor of the seven sorrows of Our Lady. Many of you haven't seen his generosity. Um, over the last seven years, I've watched him hear confessions, say mass, welcome students for spiritual direction, for mentoring, um, offering really honestly the generosity of the Father's heart. And, and that's what we see most beautifully represented in Father Patrick as he lives his vocation as a priest. Father, thank you. Well, it's been great coming back to the Mount, doing a little reminiscing, you know, looking back at our old times and going through some memories and all that, and, you know, truly edifying. And, you know, it was a great experience, beautiful, uh, to see you celebrate uh, the traditional Latin Mass. And, you know, I know all the people here were inspired, the students, you know, they were in awe of what they were seeing, beholding the beauty, the solemnity of the Mass. It inspires me, and I know it inspires you yeah. as, as priests, just to see the devotion of the, of the lay faithful, uh, when the, what they bring to the Lord, and for His honor and glory. It's so inspiring. It's been a great blessing to be up here. And like you said, just to bring back a lot of memories, too, when we were in school yeah. ourselves. <laughs> well, hey, thank you for watching, and we really appreciate you all. We thank you for your support. Know that we're praying for you. and So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell your friends about this. So you want to close yeah, with we'll a blessing, Father? Blessing May the Lord bless you and keep you. May let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you kindly and grant you his peace. Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.